fruit up to this point is a real collaboration with our vineyard crew and our winemakers and that really sets up the winery to be able to craft these great wines. We operate our wineries uh, often 24-7 for uh, a month or so, often longer. We work long hours, we work hard, but the most exciting part of Vintage is really seeing these high quality grapes arrive in the winery and it's really from that point we are making a decision on where we feel that wine will end up. And that's a decision that we make based on taste flavour. If it tastes great, we know the potential there is for something quite special. It's certainly a collaboration and obviously the vineyard provides the source material. It's difficult to make great wine without good fruit. I think any winemaker would certainly reflect on that. When we get our fruit in the winery, it's the start of the process, seeing the grapes in the winery going through processing, fermentation, maturation, and then bottling. With everything that we do at Villa Maria, the quality of the wine comes first. That's our number one philosophy. It actually makes our decision making across all stages very easy because we're 100% focused on making the best quality wine. Maturation is a really critical part of making wine, particularly wines that are matured in barrel. That time can be anywhere between six months up to 18 months. Tasting a wine throughout that maturation process is really important. When you smell a wine, when you taste a wine, when you understand the mouthfeel of a wine, that sort of tells you how the wine's changing and evolving. And we do this process quite regularly throughout a wine's life in barrel to get an idea of how the wine's changing. Blending is, for our winemakers, is really the culmination of, uh, of a lot of hard work and it's an opportunity for us to analyse our wines and taste them blind so we don't know whose wines are whose or where they're from or, or what have you. Again, it's a thrilling time and, and we get to finally see how the wines have evolved in our cellars and then turn around and produce the final wines from them. And I think this is really, other than those decisions that have been made throughout the winemaking process, this is the next most influential stage for the winemakers to drive these wine styles because the vineyard has provided parcels of fruit and now it's up to us to guide those parcels into these blends which will ultimately shape these wines. The blending process is absolutely critical. The first stage really is assessing, understanding the individual components of a wine and trying to create an overall blend that represents a balanced, complete wine that showcases the best of that vintage. If we've got this wine to a point, we're very proud of it. The next stage is the crucial bottling step. 